Madeline Kravchenika from Romania is 30 years old. He stands at 180 centimeters tall. He weighs in at 69.7 kilograms. He has a total fight record of 37 with 28 by way wins and six by way of knockout. His titles are the winner in the Dynamite Fighting Show, the winner of the Coliseum Tournament, the winner at the UFT Road to DFS. It is first time to fight here in Senshi. He is Madeline Kratchu Nika. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our next contest. Under 70 kilograms fighting in the KWU full contact rule set. Andy Sauer, our referee. And I'm joined on the commentary by a legend. And yes, 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 I'm a super fan. It's Ernesto Hoost. Ernesto, you know, it's always a pleasure and also an honor, I have to say. And what an evening we've had so far here on Century 22 on the beach of Varna, Bulgaria. We're in paradise and man, are we living the dream? That's a great atmosphere here. And, uh, yeah, for me, it's, it's, it's great. And it's not the first time I'm here uh, at the beach, but it's, it's, it's great. Also, to, for the fighters, it must be very interesting. It's a, well, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. So here we are, under 70 kilograms, full contact, KWU rules. And for anyone who's uninitiated with Senshi, this is basically K1 kickboxing rules. We have Marcio Jesus from Brazil, and he's fighting Madeline Kracianaku. We got Kracianaku from Romania. Kratiunica. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's okay. <laughs> no yeah, I, I might just call him Madeline. Yeah. So, yeah. we have Marcio Jesus from Brazil. He's, he's, at, he's already been here twice in the mm -hmm. Senshi ring, but Madeline making his debut, debut here okay. in the Senshi arena. Yeah. Now, both yeah. these guys are similar age. They look, they look evenly matched, doing the same kind of things. Evenly matched. Many kicks to the to the body and. Oh, nice right hand yeah, there. Good right hand. But you see that the no holding rule uh, is still very difficult for fighters. Yeah, but glory have, uh, have changed it, haven't they, to this uh, sort of you can work for five seconds before the referee breaks I it up. Think that, I think that is, it, uh, that is much better because... It's uh, better as long as the refereeing is consistent. But the thing is, some of the fighters, especially the heavyweights, they only grab, especially when they're heavier than their opponents, they only grab to rest or something and not, not to fight. Yeah, and that's, yeah. That's, a, that, that's the, the disadvantage of it. Oh, uh, good right cheek, hook. Cheeky right and hand there, over the top of the glove. Good knee. Yes, he keeps the pressure now. And what's very, what's interesting here? What's happening there? He's grabs, oh, grabbing his jump shield. That was an interesting, yes, was interesting uh, retrieval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so. It was quite sharp. Well, you learn something every day. Exactly. <laughs> I have never done that in my, in my fight career. Last 10 seconds of this first round. It's an interesting round because they both, they both work. And it, well, it looks that uh, Marcia was a little bit more under pressure, but he fought himself out of the pressure all the time. So that was good to see. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we say this time and time again you don't yeah. have time in a three-round fight to find your range no. or work your no. your opponent out however no. No. you have to find your range and work your opponent out so that's it uh, obviously you, you can do your research but that's what makes the fight interesting in my opinion 
Uh, so how these guys, if they come out with a game plan, yes. which always goes out the window once you get yeah. punched in the, in the mouth. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you how do you work it out? Well, in my opinion, you should have uh, not only one game plan because you always have a day plan. You always need a what if game plan. That is that is my my opinion. You're always something can go always something can go wrong. So you've got to have different roads to victory yeah. within a fight. If I this doesn't so. work, I'm going down so. that road. If this doesn't work, I'm going down this road. Yeah. But they all lead to the same place. That is the idea. You hope that they will lead to the same place. We are not sure. But actually, uh -huh. if if plan A doesn't work yes. and you use plan B, yes. you can use plan B to bring you back onto plan A. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that is possible. <laughs> yeah. That is possible. But maybe it's plan B even better than plan A. Man. Because you wrote, you, you have written, uh, how do you say that? You wrote your... Uh, your uh, plan B your becomes plan A. Yeah, you you wrote your opponent not the wrong way, and then you see, oh, I have to, I have to do it different way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what I always like, and what uh, I see, he doesn't uh, take a little bit of advantage this time, but. Um, there's a South Pole guy, Marcio is South Pole, and um, he should kick the, the rear leg. The rear leg, yeah. But he doesn't do that. Especially the right hook, right hook is working good. Well, yeah. Kracionica is coming on strong here in the second round. Yeah. And I didn't score that nice low kick there mm -hmm. from the Romanian. I didn't give a score for that first round, no. which I would have given to the Brazilian, Marcelo Jesus. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> this round, Madeline Kracionica is closing the gap 100%. Yeah, for sure. For sure. He's much more active and his, his, his moves are better. And he's just... He makes clean... Cl he made a few clean hits already. It's incredible how... If you watch a, a 10, 12-round boxing match, mm -hmm. the the tide changes over a few rounds. Yeah. But in a three-round K1 kickboxing fight, yeah. the tide has to change over the space of a round. Yeah, you don't have so much time, so... Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, well, the Brazilian looks true. so strong when it when he's when they're getting close. Yeah. But still, he, he he makes good moves. But he he always goes backwards. Well, Kratjonica. Here he's very determined, very busy, and his work rate is incredible. Yeah. Last ten seconds of this second round. Whoa. I see he wears. I see he wears uh, a pants of uh, one of my uh, one of my uh, former opponents, Little Bonjaski. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 <laughs> little Bonjaski. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Interesting. Yeah. So I think he put it. He put a little bit more pressure. Um. Well, let's talk about scoring here, because I. I've been involved with uh, creating scoring criteria mm -hmm. for kickboxing yes. and mixed martial arts. Yes. However, the original K1, yes. the predominant scoring criteria uh -huh. was the guy who was coming forward yeah. aggressively Putting trying to finish pressure. the fight. Yeah. So you can't be on the back foot landing tippy-tack jabs mm -hmm. and win the fight. Yeah. So that second round surely had to go to the Romanian. Yeah, I think so too. 
So here we are again, around a piece. Mm -hmm. and that was a that was a stiff body kick there yeah. from the Brazilian. Mm -hmm. A round apiece with everything to fight for here in the third and final round. Yeah, the remaining is, is, is just... Uh... They've been warned for this holding several times yeah, now. The holding, but not for the knee, and then... Uh, I don't understand. You give somebody a good knee, then you have don't shouldn't hold him. You should punch him. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Well, Andy Sauer there. He wants them to fight yep. and get and then create their own distance instead of getting involved too much. Exactly. But nowadays you see that too much. Uh, uh, the knees uh, are, or the clinching is, is out. And I understand that because it's not so interesting. Um, but still, it's very, very tempting to, to clinch sometimes. But now they work, the work, their work rate is quite good, actually. Oh, uh, that right. was a lovely left a knee there knee. from the Brazilian, Marcel yeah. Jesus. Yeah. The Romanian took it well. A low blow there. And that was good sportsmanship there from yeah, Madeline for sure. Kracionica, no. who stepped off, admitted his mistake, and now giving Marcel Jesus time to recover. So they'll touch gloves mm -hmm. and resume the contest. <laughs> And Marcio Jesus here, he has an eight centimeter reach advantage. Yeah. I just wanted to say he doesn't use it so much. His, exactly. His kick, his kick was a little try. But I mean, he should he should fight more from a distance. He should fight from range. With the long Throw knees some long or a long, punches long and then a low kick to finish or something like that. Yeah. Use your distance. Well, that's easier said than done. Yeah. I'm actually. But his knees, but his knees are good. His knees, he's, he has hit. He has hit uh, with some good knees already. And there's this uh, interesting <laughs> gum shield retrieval oh, wow. once again. Wow. Yeah. I cannot remember I ever I ever lost my gum shield uh, in the fight, but uh, <laughs> although the Whoa. fight is a little bit sloppy, it was still interesting, I think. Well, uh, well, I'm just trying to figure it out. Yeah. Because that's a difficult that. one to score that's overall. That's a difficult one to score, I, I agree. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we saw a fourth round. That would be interesting. Well. That would be very interesting. Well, uh, so for me, mm -hmm. the blue corner got the first round. Yes. For me, the red corner got the second round. Mm -hmm. And the third round was extremely close. Um, yeah. I think basically all the rounds were close. Uh, but uh, Blue Corner put a put little bit more pressure in the beginning. And like you say, and, uh, and the Red Corner came back. But it was, I don't know. It, no. yeah. Well, if I had to... Uh, put my life savings on it <laughs> I think we'll go Excellent. I think the decision will go to the blue corner okay. judge number two 30 to 27 oh wow and judge number three 29 to 29 for a you majority decision in favor of the blue corner there we go <laughs> 